Today we are making a modern style logo in Kittle and we're going to be using a client brief to help guide us on the logo development process. I'll show you where I started with the concepts and where I ended up for this beautiful skincare brand. So let's first take a look at some of the modern design principles that we're gonna keep in mind as we go through this logo process. Things like simplistic design style, we're gonna have some sort of icon or graphic or mark. We're looking for sleek and elegant typography. We want a simple color scheme, not necessarily one color alone, but a lot of times you will see one monochromatic theme or you might see a simple gradient theme. Modern logos make use of negative space, so we're not gonna do something very busy. We're not gonna make a very elaborate design. And of course, we wanna make sure that it is well balanced, and this goes for all styles of logos. So let's go ahead and get into the client brief. But before we do that, go ahead and sign up for Kittle for free down below if you haven't already, and that way you can follow along with this tutorial. Then hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos here on the channel. I'm Mira, the owner of a small skincare brand, and I need a logo to use on packagings and in our new online shop. Currently, we sell our products mostly through local shops, but I want to scale the business, so I'm looking for a professional, sleek aesthetic for the brand. We are known for using all natural ingredients like essential oils, herbs, and spices, and no harmful additives, and cater to an adult, health-conscious customer base. Our goal is to make our customers feel relaxed as well as confident when using our premium products. So there were a couple of different ways I was thinking about this logo and I want to show you one of those ways could be a letter mark of sorts and so we have a bunch of pretty awesome ones already preloaded here in Kittle and I want to show you that if you go to typeface you go to the fonts over there and go to the other tab we have some pretty rad styles that could work for a letter mark for modern or simple logos and each one of these also has a variable setting so that you can make them super thick or you can make them thin depending on the design style so we can click this one and go all the way to the right or the left we can click the next one and i'll show you again it can be thin or we can go all the way to right for something really thick and then we have a monogram font which might not work for this specific logo but we have different serif styles that you can click through here so this is an option for you if you're using monograms you can type in two letters here as you can see and it will do it for you quickly like that but i was thinking maybe a different approach something more floral something more floral since we're doing a more earth-based natural ingredients brand. I think maybe having a stronger floral symbol other than just using text might be best. So if we go over here to elements, I'll show you how I arrived at picking some of these. So we can click on the elements panel and then we can click over on illustrations as you can see there. But we can also just use the search bar up here at the top and we can type in flower, hit enter, and then see what comes up. And of course, so many options for florals are going to come up. I can hit this arrow and expand it and then you can just search for days with the amount of florals that we have uploaded ready for you to use, change colors and all sorts of things. But if I go back to all of the main illustrations, I wanted to show you a category that's here at the bottom. Of course, you can scroll through the categories for days as well. But if we keep scrolling and keep scrolling and you may find one that you want, you may find an icon that you already already like but we have this logo mark category down here at the bottom and I can expand that it's giving you really nice simplistic logo marks that work for modern based logos you can see that they're very mono lined right and they're very nice in a balanced symmetric layout so that's how we arrived here but if we go a step further I wanted to show you how you might combine a letter, a logo mark with a geometric shape, like this one's in a circle here, the next one's in a tombstone shape and a hexagon shape. But if I go to elements, I can scroll through these basic shapes here and find one that might work for that tree over there. And this is just an example. I'm not showing you exactly what we landed on for the Mira logo, but I'm showing you the process and how I arrived at what I think might be best. So this teardrop shape, I like this a lot. It really fits the way that this tree is looking. So I can bring this over, 
place it on top. We're gonna give it a border weight. We don't need the fill. So we're gonna make the border weight black and then we're gonna give it a three or four weight. We're gonna change that in a minute. So let's go ahead and turn our fill off and then we'll start tweaking this to be exactly how we want it. It's a little bit too big. So we need to scale this down so that it makes the most sense. And then we can start changing the border weight to fit the style that is that flower there. We want all of the, the line weight to be the same so it looks like one cohesive logo mark. And so you see how that's really easy for you to do combining elements in Kittle by yourself just like that. Hey, if you're getting value out of this modern logo tutorial, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button and the red subscribe button. Then let me know in the comments, are you working on a modern logo design right now? I would love to know, so let me know there. So moving on to our final layout that we chose, I think that this floral logo mark is going to fit for the Mira brand. It's simplistic, it's well balanced, and I think it's going to fit with this earth tone vibe that we've selected for the Mira brand. This is what we're going to start with. So if we go over to text, we can add a headline here. And so we're going to look for a font that works well with this. And we're gonna be going with a more sans serif style font. We don't want something so sharp like this. So let's go ahead and type in Mira. And then we'll go over to our text settings and start looking for one that we want the most. So we'll click on the sans serif category and we can pick through a different couple of these to see what we want, uh, just to see what would work. But I think the one that is going to work the best is the Chereau font here. And I really like this font. It's, it's nice, it's elegant, but it's very modern, it's very simplistic, and it's perfect for a brand that's just like this. And so we're going to start tweaking this layout so that it is correct and balanced. So let's grab an element because we need to make sure that we're using the right spacing. So let's give this a different color. We're not making this a part of our layer. We're just using this as a guide. We're making ourselves a little guide here. And so we want to make sure that the spacing here that's all around this flower from the inside of the circle, the oval here, is going to be consistent with the placement of our text. So this little rectangle is going to serve as our guide. And you can see there from the bottom of the oval to the flower and over here on the right, from the right side of the oval to the left side it's all aligned here so we're going to drag that down and we're going to make sure that that's the same spacing to where our text starts so we just need to drag our text down right there then what we're going to do is make sure that our text is the right size so we're going to do the same principle but on the outside of the oval and we're going to make a balanced format here so there it is on the left you can see that that's the amount of space from the left side of the oval and then if we can take this and put it right here make sure that's aligned drag it back down you can hold shift to make sure that everything is in line and doesn't move out of your horizontal line then we're going to start scaling this up to meet the left and the right sides of those boxes so the m is there with the A, because of how the A is, we're going to give it a little bit of an overhang. So if I drag that down, you can see there's a little bit of the A that's past it. And it's just the way your eye works. It's a little bit more optically pleasing like that. And so that looks nice and centered. Let's change our variable weight. It's a little too thick. We want to bring it down so that it's more in line with the weight of our icon there. And so this is looking about the right width. We can zoom out and make sure it's looking pretty nice. And then what we need to do is make some subtext. So what we can do is we can duplicate this by holding the Alter Option key, or you can Command C and Command V, and then we're going to type in Skin Care as our subtext because that is the style brand that we're doing is like lotions and oils and things like that. And so then we're going to just tweak that and make sure that it's the same space from Mira to the logo mark. Then we're going to increase the letter spacing to give it a little bit more, a little bit more depth. So here is the same layout with different font selections, and I wanna show you why it really matters when you're deciding which typography to use. So you can already tell that by seeing these from a glance, they create a different vibe. So let's go into each one of these and see why it creates a different aesthetic.
So looking at the first one is kind of a serif, sans serif hybrid, but it's still more in that serif class. And it looks a lot more elegant. It looks a lot more high end, maybe like a spa, something that's just kind of saying that's very expensive and it's more official and high grade. Moving on to the next one, maybe looks a little bit too playful. Maybe it's catering to a younger audience of, that's into skincare or something like that with the script. It just looks a little bit more, not low end, but a little more playful. With the Mira in this big bowl, just kind of screams authoritative. It's very loud. Maybe it's for a very specific brand that is trying to be authoritative in this market and then we have the one that we chose which is the nice Chiro font which is not too high end but it's just playful enough to be a modern simplistic logo that I think really fits the audience that they are catering to. I want to show you how the ligatures work. Now if we go into glyphs we actually have different options for this Chiro font and many other fonts where if we go over here we can see the R and the A will loop together but we don't have to just click that we could just hit this little button for ligatures and you can see that the R and the A connect like that now we have a nice rounded swoop of the R that kind of fits the oval shape that we have that's above and now we have these two things that are connected together that really will work itself as a logo mark without the floral but it also works together cohesively like this now I've changed skincare to be a different font and so what we're gonna do now is test our whole logo on black we just did it on white to see how it holds up now we need to put everything on black and so we're gonna change it to white and the reason I mentioned skincare is because I'm not sure it's thick enough so if I zoom out it's a little difficult I think skincare kind of gets lost a little bit so what we're gonna do is zoom back in click skincare and then we're going to make it a little bit more weighted so we'll click bold on this quicksand font which are really nice it's nice and rounded it connects to the sharpness of the Chiro font nicely and so we're going to go with that and I think that's looking quite nice then we can change our colors to be exactly how we want them once we've gone through all of these kind of principles and met the requirements now we're going to choose like a copper tone color for this font something earthy we don't want to go like super brown like mud or or too orange like clay or maybe too dull like a pastel brown but maybe a, something that's like orange maybe that's more that's more earthy tones then we're gonna select a nice light pink to offset and to really complement this darker tone so we'll tweak with this color right here to get it exactly how we want it and then we're going to start mocking up our logo so that you can see what it's like on the packaging so here is our finished Mira skincare logo mocked up on several card and packaging designs so that the client can really visualize how it will look in real life well, I hope you enjoyed this modern logo tutorial, and I hope it helped you see how you can concept different ideas using Kittle, and that it's important to have a great client brief when going into the logo design process. Now, I can't wait to see what logos and packaging and labels that you make, so make sure you tag us on social, at Kittle Design, and you can find all of those links down in the description. Before you go, take a quick second and hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. That's just a way for you to know when we upload more videos to the channel next time that you visit YouTube. I have a lot of exciting videos planned, and I know they're going to help you in your creative process, so don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, create magic.